People who collect wine are pretty passionate about it and they affectionately call themselves wine geeks. They love their collections, they love showing it off or for some people they, they love keeping it something to themselves. But a collection of bottles can really vary from a thousand to four or five thousand bottle range. Collections can run anywhere from ten to twenty thousand dollar worth of wine to a couple million. And so for some clients, it's a place to park their money. It's an alternative investment strategy. It's one of the few places that for every bottle that opens, your bottle becomes more valuable. Others are really, really bona fide wine drinkers and they want to just consume it and that's it. I started collecting wine probably 30 years ago. Built up a, a reasonable collection, probably a couple thousand bottles over that time. It's a seven figure collection. The purpose is first and foremost to have a, a safe, temperature control space for the wine. But obviously this is a place where you can look at the wine. So I look at it every day when I sit at my desk. I enjoy that. We'll do different kind of wine tastings. And as cool as it is in here with the uh, 54 degree temperature, uh, it never seems to be too cool to sit around and have a nice glass of wine. I've been collecting since the early 90s. We have our own wine that we produce, but I also collect wines from all over the world. The collection is a little over 1,200 bottles. As a buyer and as a seller, people like to know that the wines were stored in optimal conditions. It's never a good thing to spend a lot of money in a bottle of wine to find out later that it wasn't kept optimally and uh, it's gone bad. Heat spikes and things like that are not good for the wine, so at least I know that my wines are stored at what I consider a perfect uh, environment, so they're going to drink the way they're supposed to be when it's time. People want to do something different, something nobody's seen before. We're trying to get away from just the old cookie cutter, wood, espresso finished, more traditional styling. We're doing some different stuff with the glass and the high polished stainless steel. Stone, that's a real nice thing that people really want to incorporate. Acrylic um, is becoming a hot thing now. The typical wine room for the high net worth residential home is probably around 50 to 70 thousand. Every space is completely different. It all depends on how custom you want to get. It was an investment that I was determined to do regardless because it's a big passion of mine, a big hobby. But I think it is interesting how in today's market, more and more people are looking for a wine cellar in a luxury home. It's almost become a requirement. <music>